Hello YouTube, welcome to another video and welcome to my channel, The Art of Perfumery. I am Mark Lacerda, your host, and today we're going to talk about this wonderful release from the house of Juke, which is Juke on Absolute. What a wonderful release, I have to say. This is a very intriguing fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful release from the house of Juke. I have to say, this is one of the best releases out there and definitely the best release from the house of Juke, period. I'm very, very happy to have purchased the 120 ml bottle, which is the biggest bottle available. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And talking about the bottle, as you can see, the bottle is very nice. It's painted in black on the inside. On the outside is clear glass, but it's painted in black on the inside. You still can see the juice, but you have to hold it against a very, very strong light because the paint is actually very thick, it's very dark, but if you hold it against a very strong light, you still can see the juice. The bottle is very simplistic and this bottle actually reminds me a lot of the classic Jupe uh, released in 1989, the Pink Bomb. As you can see, the bottles are very similar, the cap are exactly the same. This is a bit bigger cap, this is not so big, but they're very, very similar. The shape is almost the same. Uh, let's go to the notes now because I'm going to dive right into the review. Okay, the top we have black pepper, in the heart we have Ylang Ylang. And at the bottom, we have vetiver, tonka bean, and incense. Now I'm gonna spray the fragrance so you can have a look at the distribution, which is very nice. Take a look. Very, very nice distribution. A very, very thick uh, spray. Really, really nice. Okay, let's smell it, and I'm gonna go right into the review. What an opening, guys, what an opening. Okay, the fragrance opens very, very peppery and slightly sweet. It's not overly sweet as you would expect from this house. I, I really thought that this would be a very sweet fragrance because from the, it comes from the house of Joe, but no, the fragrance actually opens with a blast of black pepper that brings a spicy and almost dusty feel to the composition, while the tonka bean, of course, brings some sweetness. But again, it's not overly sweet. It's not as sweet as the previous releases uh, from this house. One thing I've noticed in this fragrance as well, this is really, really well balanced. This is really well crafted from the house of Jupe. Uh, and this overdose of black pepper actually don't let this fragrance go to that childish realm, to that teenage realm, simply because I can't imagine a teenager liking that amount of black pepper uh, on their skin, actually. This is very, very peppery. Pepper is one of the main notes on this composition. And from the moment we spray this fragrance, you're gonna notice that this fragrance is gonna get more and more incense. The incense is gonna find its way out to the surface. And it's a very beautiful incense. This is actually an incense bomb. It's a really beautiful incense because it brings that smoky, uh, incense, almost an exotic vibe to the composition. All of that surrounded by that peppery, dusty, almost dirty feel to the composition that comes from the black pepper. The black pepper on this fragrance reminds me a lot of a patchouli because, like I said, it's dusty and it's also dirty at the same time. It goes so well with that incense. That's what makes the magic of this fragrance. The most prominent note on this fragrance, I would say, is pepper, incense, tonka bean, and vanilla. Vanilla is not listed as a note, but you're definitely gonna get that creamy vanilla vibe on the dry down of this fragrance. Uh, all of that surrounded by that dusty, uh, peppery, spicy, and also that smoky incense that you find on this fragrance as well. Really, really nice fragrance now. The further this fragrance goes on the dry down, it will start reminding me of two fragrances that I have in my collection. It reminds me a lot of Tobacco Vanille and it also reminds me a lot of Prada Luna Rossa Extreme. I would say Tobacco Vanille because of that combo uh, vanilla and tonka bean. And also I get whiffs of Prada Luna Rossa Extreme, which was unfortunately discontinued. It was released in 2013, had a short life and is already discontinued. Both fragrances has a lot of pepper and hints of vanilla. But this, I have to say, this is not a clone by any means. And I don't believe that this fragrance came to replace any of those fragrances mentioned. But both fragrances, Tobacco Vanille and Luna Rossa Extreme, are very strong fragrances. Both of them are stronger than this fragrance. 
Both of them are more potent than jute ohm, absolute. And of course, I get a lot of tobacco on the tobacco vanille, which I don't get on this fragrance. Luna Rosa Extreme is stronger, it's soapier. I get a lot of that clean, soapy vibe that Prada knows how to do it very well, which I don't get on this fragrance. Therefore, this is not a clone, but as it goes further to the dry down, I get whiffs of tobacco vanille and I get whiffs of Prada Luna Rosa Extreme with this fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, before I dive into the rages, there's something very important that I forgot to say uh, on my review. This fragrance also reminds me, and it reminds me a lot, of this fragrance, Pure Excess from the house of Paco Rabanne. Actually, throughout the entire life of this fragrance, it's gonna give me whiffs of Pure Excess as well. Why is that? because Pure Excess has a lot of vanilla and also has patchouli. And like I said, this has a non-listed vanilla and also the black pepper is gonna feel like a patchouli note. That's why this fragrance will remind me a lot of this fragrance as well. So it's correct to say that uh, Juke Om Absolute is actually a hybrid between uh, Pure Excess and also them two fragrances. I get uh, whiffs of Prado de Rosa Extreme, as I said, and I also get whiffs of tobacco vanilla. Not so much, but Pure Excess actually uh, will remind you a lot of this fragrance. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's go now to the radius. We start with the presentation. I really like this presentation. I really enjoy it because it feels nostalgic. It actually reminds me a lot of the presentation of the classic Jupe Homme. I really enjoy this presentation because it's so simple. And this is one of the most important fragrances in my collection. I love it to bits. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 to this presentation. Now we jump uh, to seasons. I'd say this goes very well, summer nights, uh, spring nights, but it's way better if you wear this uh, fall and also uh, winter. It goes very well. I'd say this is a fall fragrance. That's the best season to enjoy this fragrance for sure. We are now down to occasion. What is the best occasion to rock this scent? I would say this is a very good casual scent and this is also a very good semi-formal scent. It's not a best formal scent out there. For a very formal scenario, you definitely can find better scents, but if you only have this scent, you can wear this in a formal setting as well. Uh, it's very good for going out. It's a very good work scent. It's a very good date scent. It works very well, even clubbing scent. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the best clubbing scent out there because the performance, uh, you, you definitely find uh, fragrances that's going to perform better. But if you only have this fragrance and you want to go clubbing, you can rock this fragrance, that is for sure. So it's a very versatile scent uh, regarding occasions. We go now uh, to performance. How does this fragrance perform? It projects on my skin for two hours and it stays on my skin. The longevity of this fragrance is around seven to eight hours on my skin. If I want a better performance, I apply uh, on my clothes and it performs uh, better on fabric. So I get around nine hours when I apply on my clothes. Smell, how does this smell? I really enjoy the smell. I think this is a very well crafted scent. It's one of the best you can find in the Jupe house. It has some mature vibe and also has a bit of a casual vibe to it as well, which I love it. So I'm gonna give it a eight and a half out of 10. Now, thank you so much guys for watching my review. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to hit the like button. If you don't wanna miss my content, a subscribe would be very much appreciated. I am Mark Lacerda and I see you in the next video. Bye.